We often mention in our videos and replies to emails to check the micro switches. They are micro switches are in most showers that don't have a circuit board. This is the kind of thing here. They can be black or grey, occasionally red ones. That's really unimportant. It's just the different manufacturers. Um, and the, the only other thing to think about is that they have sometimes they have different ratings, which we'll come to as we go through the video and show you what the different ratings are. These are pretty standard micro switches. Although the colour's different, it means nothing, it's unimportant, you occasionally get red ones. What is different about them is that they have different ratings. This is a, a 21 or 22 amp micro switch and this will be 10 amp. The, normally in an electric shower you would have a 21, 22 amp micro switch that would control the elements and the, the smaller one, the 10 amp micro switch, would be the one that would control um, the switches or perhaps even the solenoid. They, they, they all have a stamp on the side of them, although it can be difficult to see, I don't know if that's it, that you can actually see the, the rating on the side of the micro switch. When they get older, it becomes difficult to see because they, uh, the printing becomes yellow. Here you can see two micro switches. They're both old switches, but as you can see with this one, it's in perfect working condition, nothing wrong with it at all. But here, this one, this terminal here has been overheating. The heat has gone along the terminal and melted the workings inside, and you can see it scorched the plastic as well. And that's why this switch isn't working. Mostly when it comes to checking and testing micro switches, it's all to do with continuity. Um, if you've got continuity across the terminals in the switch, then the switch is normally good. If there's no continuity when the button's pressed, then basically the switch is faulty. What you can look for is things like, like scorching on the terminals. If there's any scorching in the terminals, that tends to mean that the switch has been overheating, and that's often a good pointer to the fact that the switch has become faulty. Normally what happens with a micro switch is the power goes in at the top here, and then when the button's pressed, like, like so, the power goes out and off to say the elements or, or whatever it's controlling. Um, and then what we're going to do now is actually show you how to test one properly using a multimeter. To test a micro switch, what you really need is a multimeter, and you need the multimeter set to continuity. We have a video of this multimeter and the different settings, however, at this particular time we'll set it to continuity, which is here, and to test the continuity we put the two probes together and it should bleep. And if they bleep, you have continuity. This is the normal micro switch and normally the power comes in the top connection here and then when the button's pressed it goes out here and off to the elements or whatever. So the, the way to test it is the check that the power's coming to here and then when the button's pressed the power should go out and if there's no power coming out then that means that the micro switch is faulty. Very occasionally in a shower you'll find that you get a three pin micro switch, they're not terribly common. They work in the same sort of way as the black ones, that the power normally goes in here and normally goes out here. And when the power is, when it's switched off, when the switch is off, this terminal here becomes live. What I'll do is I'll demonstrate how this works and how to test it in a moment. This is the three pin switch, it works exactly the same way as the normal two pin one does, in that the power goes in here, when you click the button the power should come out here. And this uh, this one normally just works a light. So if, for example, um, that you have a light that goes out, an indicator light that goes out, then it might be worth checking that you've actually got continuity across these two switches. This happens very seldom because there's no real power goes through it. It's usually, usually just a neon light that this powers up. But if you have a light that goes out, then you should have power here and power there when the thing's switched off. There you go. Now you know how to check and test a micro switch, probably the most, one of the most common parts inside a shower, and one of the things that go wrong really often. So, now you have the skills, good luck.